by now you've likely seen videos like these and there's several out there of Denver deputies in the Denver jail using excessive force on inmates. But the Denver Fraternal Order of Police says there's more to the department than just these high profile cases. So Eric Lufer is live downtown this morning with details on how these officers plan to counteract the image. Well, good morning, Kelly. The head of Colorado's Fraternal Order of Police, who you were mentioning just a few seconds ago, feels that Denver jail deputies are in danger of getting hurt because the city is not uh, helping them out, supporting them. And that's one of the reasons why there's going to be a rally outside the Denver Detention Center here later this afternoon. The head of the FOP talking last week about deputies not using force simply because they don't want to get in trouble and how that will affect things moving forward. That can be a safety issue for the officers, for the inmates, and if order in the jail gets out of control, it could affect the public too. That was Mike Violet, executive director of the FOP. This afternoon, Denver deputies, in essence, breaking their silence. The FOP saying deputies have, quote, stood silent, waiting for city administration to act in a proper and responsible manner, going on to say our patience has run out. So here's what will happen today. The protest and rally will be at 1 this afternoon in front of the Denver Detention Center, 520 West Colfax. The FOP urges all Denver Sheriff's deputies who are off duty, along with family and friends, to attend and participate. And the FOP saying that a lot of decisions that have been made within the city are politically motivated.